Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. I just watched the trailer for The Last Duel, a film based on real events with Jodie Comer, Matt Damon, Adam Driver, Ben Affleck and so many more famous actors. And in this trailer, I saw this nice track mat effect, which is actually super easy to recreate in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started and jump right into Premiere. First off, drop your shot in the timeline and then go over to the window menu. Select essential graphics and from that panel create a new item. We're gonna choose a rectangle. Make sure that the color of your rectangle is black. Now the shapes are completely customizable to your likings so you don't have to replicate the exact same rectangles that I'm creating. There are multiple ways to animate these shapes but I'm going to show you the one that requires the least amount of work. Now open the shape and let's animate its path. Now go to the middle of your clip and set a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon next to the path. Then head to the beginning of the clip and drag the bottom of the shape all the way up so it's not visible anymore. Then head to the end of the clip and bring the top all the way down until it isn't visible. Now let's have a look at our animation. It looks nice, right? Now go over to the effects library and look for the track mat key effect. Drag it on top of your footage layer, which is the bottom layer. And then move to the effect controls again. Then set the mat to video 2, which is our shape, and make a composite using the mat alpha. Now let's select both layers in the timeline, right click and nest them together. You can now repeat all of these steps to create more shapes. And if you place multiple nests on top of each other, use the drop shadow effect on the top layers to create more depth between them. Like we did right here. I set the distance of the shadow quite low but give it quite a bit of softness. If your shapes are going to be on the same depth layer, you can make them all in the same graphics layer since you animate each path separately anyway. Now play around with a whole bunch of shapes and different timings for your animations and in the end you can create your very own cool track mat effect like ours. Now this is just one of the many awesome effects that we can create in Premiere Pro. But if you want to learn more about editing, then check out the first link in the description down below. Which will bring you right into our beginner's course in Adobe Premiere Pro. In this highly rated course you will learn everything there is to know. How to organize your clips and workspace, basic editing techniques, the tools from the toolbar, basic video effects and transitions, how to work with text and graphics, and of course create templates from those. But you would also get familiar with animations, speed ramping and color correction. We'll also dive into audio mixing and audio effects and lastly you will learn how to export your video in the best possible way so that you can share it all across the internet. And all of this knowledge is available for you if you just click that first link in the description down below. You'll also get 30 days for free. So take your time and start learning right now. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.